This topic of discussion is REC, very very important question. Actually, I have made two videos regarding important question. One is important questions and from that those questions which are repeated many times I have labeled them as very very important questions. So in this video we will be doing very very important questions which are repeated many times and for chapter 1, 2, 3. Chapter number 1 Introduction of Refrigeration In that energy efficiency ratio that is EER difference between a refrigerator and a heat pump vortex tube refrigeration classify refrigerant and explain thermodynamic property of refrigerant or the question can be asked as primary refrigerant and secondary refrigerant then properties of refrigerant in that it may be separately asked critical temperature or latent heat of vaporization then ozone layer depletion and its consequences then bell coleman cycle on pv and ts diagram and label the processes then aircraft refrigeration using simple air cooling system and represent it on TS diagram and then for chapter number two that is vapor compression and absorption system so the very very important questions which have been asked many times that is ultimate effect of undercooling on COP and superheating and undercooling on refrigerating effect and show on pH and TS diagram. Then need advantages and limitation of multi-staging in vapor compression refrigeration system. Then chapter number three that is refrigeration system equipment and in that the questions which can be asked which are very very important are differentiate between air cooled condenser and water cooled condenser with respect to the following point. It may be asked like media used for cooling, transfer, heat transfer rate, application, COP, maintenance, noisy operation, power consumption, day and night seasonal performance consistency or the second question that is capillary tube, thermostatic expansion valve, classification of evaporator and explain any one, function of evaporator, then flooded type evaporator and the fifth question that is dry expansion type chiller or DX chiller. So these are very very important questions. Those have been asked many times from chapter number 1, 2, 3. I will be making a separate video for important questions for chapter number 1, 2, 3. And these as I have told that this is those questions which have been repeated. But I will be making another video for those questions which have appeared in examination. Hope you like the video. We will again meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.